Hi guys, Wendy here. It's DIY time again at Dross IQ and today we're going to be making these really fun and easy ball blowers. So let's get started. To make this ball blower toy, just go to my website at drossiq.com and print out this uh, free template that I've provided for you. If you can, print it out on a heavier stock paper just so that it holds up a little bit better, but regular paper will be fine too. So after you have it printed out, the first thing you need to do then is to color it so that you don't have to worry about going outside the lines. And if you wanted to make it a narwhal, you can just um, go ahead and color the horns too. But if you want to keep it a whale, then just color this and cut just this part out. After you've colored and cut it out, it should look something like this. So I'm going to take this piece right here and the next step is to fold it in half right here. So I'm basically just going to flip it over and fold it right in half. And I can go ahead and also fold this little tab in too. So the dotted lines right here is just to tell me where I should um, fold. So just go ahead and fold straight. And same thing on the other side. So that's basically it for this piece right here. And um, the horns will go in later after we've put in the straw. So um, the next thing is to work on the straw part right here. So before we do that, I wanted to go ahead and um, talk to you a little bit about the straws. What you will need for this project is a bendy straw. So right here are two different um, sizes of bend, I'm gonna call them bendy straws. <laughs> so as I was working on this project, I was experimenting and trying to figure out easier ways for you guys to make this and things that would work. Because as you know on YouTube, it always works, right? But then when you try it at home, it doesn't <laughs> for some reason. Because they don't really, some videos um, don't tell you all the little details. Um, so what I found is that I originally had these really thin bendy straws. And these don't work because it's so thin that you don't get enough air when you blow out of it and so it's not strong enough to um, lift up the balls so I went to Target and this was from the 99 cent store by the way and this um, ones these ones here are from Target it's just a box for like a dollar fifty really cheap and so as you can see it's a lot thicker so I'm able to get a lot more air a lot more force coming out so if you can find something like this and um, also, you are go you're going to need another piece of straw, which is going to be for the top part. So if you can, I found these at Panera. Don't tell anyone, I just took some. <laughs> um, I ate there, of course, but then I just, uh, you know, borrowed two or three of these straws because <laughs> they look so perfect. I was hunting for straws. And um, so these are clear. That's what's nice about them. And they're very strong. So see, it's not it's pretty stiff. So that's what you want if you can. And the reason you want it clear is just so that it looks pretty uh, kind of invisible almost when you blow the balls out, but it doesn't have to be. What most important thing is whatever you use up here needs to fit right into this piece down here. So it just has to be bigger than this bendy straw so that it can just go right over it. So once you have your straws, the next thing you want to do is to take this bendy one and fit it into this clear one right here. So just pop it on in and I'm just going to pop this in right here and take my piece of tape and just tape it to the bendy straw. So I'm just going to stop right before where before it starts to bend so that's just easier for me to tape it together. So you just want to tape it nice and snug so that it won't move around. So there, like when I pull, it won't move in or out of it. That's all you need to do. So once it's taped together, I'm going to cut off this part right here. And I want to, um, there's no exact measurement, but I'm just going to say about two inches from where this straw starts right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just snip it off. So the bigger the ball that you use, the longer this piece is going to need to be so that it can hold your ball when you um, blow it up. So it's about two inches. Um, up from here and after you've done that what you want to do is to go ahead and snip this part right here into pieces so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my scissor in and just cut all the way down to where the other straw starts and I'm just gonna be cutting strips down so you don't want it too thin 
just maybe like a straw like this could probably, let's see here, maybe five, five pieces would be good. So something like that. So basically it's just gonna bend down so that it can catch the ball. So you can just take your fingers in here and just kind of open it up a little bit. And so basically that's where your ball is gonna go. It's gonna sit in here. So once that is done, you wanna take your um, piece back right here, the narwhal or your whale, and you're gonna put this piece inside. So flip your um, whale upside down, the paper, and we're going to stick this right in here. So you want the edge to be coming out right here. So this is kind of the blowhole. It's going to be right there. So just kind of imagine this and you want it as straight as possible. So hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to kind of force it right here and don't worry. There's enough space. It won't tear your paper. So that's why if you can use stiffer paper, it's a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this straight to make sure my straw, my blowhole is nice and straight. You notice and I'm just going to take a piece of tape and tape it down. You can use glue if you want, um, just tape is so much easier and faster. So notice it's right here where you can, you can put it down just kind of see if it's right like that and then um, tape it some more. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape it some more to secure it and I'm going to take this piece right here and just bend it a little bit upwards because I have to stick this part together. So I'm just going to bend it out of the way. I'm just going to put another piece of tape right there. So just nice and secure. And so then from there I'm going to take my glue stick right here or you can even tape it but since I have the glue stick right here I'm just going to put some glue on this tab right here and just stick it together just like that at the bottom. As you saw, I used a glue stick right here to glue this together. It works, but it just takes too long for it to set. So I got impatient and I just used a piece of tape and just taped it. So tape is probably just the best, thing, the best way to go with this. So after you're done with that, you're basically done. Now um, what you want to do is to test the balls that you're going to put up here. So I did a lot of research <laughs> for you and um, I found that these balls right here, so this right here is a real uh, like a you know a professional ping pong ball so you can hear the difference and I went to Daiso um, which is uh, that Japanese store that sells things for like a dollar fifty it's like a 99 cent store and I found these balls which are also supposed to be ping pong balls but they're more uh, how would you say they're they're a lot lighter actually they're not as crisp in sound and I found that these work so much better because they're actually a lot lighter and I went hunting around my house looking for all different kinds of little balls that are very light that I could possibly use. So what you want to do is after you've made this is to go ahead and experiment with different balls. I found that the, these kind of the professional ping pong balls don't work. It's actually too heavy. I was trying to blow them and I was just getting lightheaded. <laughs> so these work a lot better. These um, sh these cheapy ones. Maybe you can find them in 99 cent store. These are foam balls. These actually work too. The key is to make sure that this piece of straw right here, when you put your ball in, so right here, it's close to the ball. Because if it's too low, it's not gonna have enough force. Before I show you this ball blower in action, I wanted to show you another one that I made. Unfortunately, I can't give you the template for this one because I don't have the rights to Pokemon and I don't wanna get myself in trouble. So I hope this just inspires you to um, realize that there's all kinds of things you can make on your own. So this one right here, I was looking through my drawings and figuring out what else shoots, right? So Bulbasaur is perfect because it shoots uh, leech seeds. And so I just went ahead and uh, made my Bulbasaur and instead of connecting up here I had to connect it here so I'm basically just going to fold this over and it's the same concept I'm gonna fold this in right here so that I can connect it together so whatever you make maybe an elephant a seal whatever it is it's the same concept as long as it fits the straw so that's about it and I'm going to use my straw once again Got a green one this time and I'm going to get my um, 
straw right here. So this is my clear straw and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one and show you. So there, that's pretty much it for this Bulbasaur one. So I just um, doubled up my tape to make a double side tape and I just um, closed this part up right here. You don't have to, but I thought it'd be nice to just close it up. So it looks just like this and you hold it right here and you blow. So it's the same thing, same concept. So you can also do that right here. You can put a piece of tape right here for the whale and close this part up if you want it. But that's all optional and oh I almost forgot it so if you want to make this little whale here a narwhal take your um, <laughs> these horn, unicorn horns and I'm just going to put some glue right here and then all of a sudden I'm just gonna glue this part right here it's a narwhal <laughs> no longer a whale so it's up to you if you want to make it a whale or a narwhal, and then you can do that with the other side too. If you want to make it a narwhal, ah, let me pick this up and glue this part in. So I hope you think this project is really fun and really easy. The most uh, important, the, well, the hardest part of this project is basically just finding the right straws and the right kind of balls. So just, um, experiment with it at home as you're making and see what works and um, that's basically it so now I'm going to show you how it works <laughs> 